And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you. Everyday knowledge for you. Let's start off with what's in Mr. Singletary's garage. Can you remember the six objects we've had so far? Go. Okay, so I'm hoping that you've got the finished throwing game, Molka. I'm hoping you've got the dried mealworms. I'm hoping you've got the pump. I'm hoping you've got the mini Evil Knievel, the tape measure, the green twine. They're the six. I'm chucking in a seventh. It's a little watch. It's a fake Casio. It uh, doesn't even have a name. Little watch there. Uh, it tells the time. I use it as a stopwatch. There's seven things in the garage. Let's move on. Right, now for the real EDK, everyday knowledge. First of all, I've got a brand new chemical symbol. I've got a brand new element for you. It's part of the periodic table, it's this one. Now that element is fluorine, fluorine. It's kind of linked to fluoride, which is in toothpaste and water, helps to strengthen things. But it's fluorine, it's F, and I'm going to show you it a bit later on. Also, we've started talking about uh, religious holy books. We said that the, the holy book for Christians is the Bible. Well, today I'm going to tell you, and you probably know this already, the holy book for uh, Muslims, the holy book for the Islamic religion, is the Quran. So we've got the Bible is an important book for Christians, and the Quran is an important holy book for Muslims. Right, let's start off. Oh, a tune! Here's the tune. I call it the Angry Stompy tune. That's probably not a very musical description, is it? The name of the composer, please. Sergei Prokofiev. Name of the TV show that it's currently on. The Apprentice and the name of the tune and the ballet that it appears in. That's right, Dance of the Nights from the Romeo and Juliet Ballet. Absolutely correct. Oh, this, this piece of artwork here, pretty spectacular. Name of the artist, name of the masterpiece. Pablo Picasso and the Weeping Woman. One more. Name of the artist, name of the masterpiece. That's right, it's Loon Coonan, and it is Bush Tucker. Um, let's have a bit of a times table. Should we do the twos? Lots of you will do this. I'm gonna go super fast. One times two is, two times two is, three times two is, four times two is, five times two is, six times two is, seven times two is, eight times two is, nine times two is, 10 times two is, 11 times two is, 12 times two is. How many millimeters in a centimeter? 10, how many centimetres in a metre? 100, how many metres in a kilometre? 1,000, how many kilometres in a mile? 1.6, days in a week? Seven, uh, weeks in a year? 52, months in a year? 12, let's do the months in the year, but let's go backwards. Let's do it together backwards. December, November, October, September, August, July, June, May, April, March, February, January. I don't know if that was right. If it wasn't, I apologize. If you kept up with me and it was right, well done. Okay, chemical symbols. I'm gonna show you three at a time. I'm gonna show you three at a time. Let's get, oh, here we go. Right, I'm gonna show you three. You need to tell me 
what they all are. Go. Hydrogen, fluorine, aluminium. I'm now gonna give you three more. You need to tell me them all in one go. Go. Helium, oxygen, sodium. Finally, the holy book for Christians. It's the Bible, the holy book for Muslims. The Quran, see you next time. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you.